Right, part two of this video, I'm going to disconnect all the connectors in here. As you can see, I'm now wearing my anti-static wrist tag there. Not that I need to wear it at this point, but I'm just in case I touch something that I shouldn't, because I might have to, I might have to touch the memory to get to, to get to some of the comp uh, some of the attachments. So first of all, first thing I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to disconnect the CD-ROM or the CD drive because uh, the cable is in the way. And that cable over there. So now. Right, the next thing I'm going to disconnect, I'm going to disconnect the motherboard from the actual power supply. And I don't know if, you, you, if there's, there's, there's one here. <coughs> Tight they are. There you go, that's that one. And that you get various ones, some of them they come with four of these, they, they're separate like on this one and, and uh, older ones come without these four but it doesn't matter because most, most of the motherboards are compatible with either of those anyway now I'm going to disconnect the actual cable to get it completely out of my way and we'll move that over there so there you go next I'm going to take the SATA cables off the hard drive here and these are SATA 2, there's SATA 1 and now there's SATA 3 as well um, <clears throat> so the, it, working inside is very fiddly but yeah, unfortunately there's no other there's no way around it not unless you've got one of these super duper really expensive boxes that allow the motherboard and the whole motherboard to slot out but I've not I they're really they're quite expensive and I I don't see the, the reason I'm buying one <clears throat> right so next I'm now going to undo some more of this power cable here <clears throat> that is uh, now not attached to anything as you can see there's cables everywhere you get all tangled up so. Here's one of the other power connectors that connects up to the to the motherboard. This one here, this 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 one here, you can see I've got it in my hand here. This one is the power for the um, for the fan for the uh, processor, and these two are the power connectors for the cooling fan inside. So. There's just a few more connectors to undo. <clears throat> Depending on what you've got inside your motherboard will depend how many. If you ha if you're not sure, you need to you need to write down when you di when you disconnect each one what you're actually disconnecting, so that when it comes to putting them back together again, you can actually you actually know what you're doing. But anyway, that's now completely disconnected. So there's now nothing on the motherboard. The next stage would be to just take the motherboard out, but I need to remove the other side panel to do that. Okay, so that'll be in the next video.